Good morning. To resume, the sitting is open. The first item on the agenda is Council and Commission Statements, Situation of Migrants in Bosnia, in particular in Bihać. Before I open the debate, I would like to inform you that in order to request Catch the Eye and Blue Cards, it will be possible to use both the standard registration and the new system allowing members to register electronically. Therefore, I invite you to allow bring your voting card. Should you wish to register for Catch the Eye, I invite you to do so starting uh, from the point when we finish with the speeches on behalf of the political groups without waiting for the end of the debate. The blue cards will be uh, allowed only after the speeches on behalf of the political groups are finished. The debate will be open by Mrs. Tupurainen, who speaks for the Council. Mrs. Tupurainen, the floor is yours. Honourable Mr. President, honourable members, of the Parliament, allow me to start by saying that, although serious, the migratory situation in the Western Balkans has been improving over the last two years, especially 2019. The number of arrivals in all European migratory routes for the first three quarters of 2019 was 90% lower than last year, which is a positive signal. The numbers show that the EU is doing its utmost to improve the general situation and alleviate the migratory and humanitarian pressure the countries in the Western Balkans are facing. However, Bosnia and Herzegovina has become a major route into the EU. As all of us are aware, the crisis that Bosnia and Herzegovina is currently undergoing is most severe in the northwest of the country, in the Yunasana canton with Pihats as its centre. The EU continues to monitor the situation on the ground and will do everything it can to improve the overall humanitarian situation. It is crucial that the national and local authorities do their part of the work, reach an agreement and provide refugees and migrants with proper accommodation. We are committed to helping Bosnia and Herzegovina deal with this situation and delivering assistance to the most vulnerable. As the most pressing matter, Bosnia and Herzegovina authorities must relocate without delay migrants and refugees from the unsuitable side of Butchak. At meetings with representatives of the city and cantonal authorities, the EU continues to urge the immediate closure of this temporary camp. We are also concerned that existing reception capacities in Bosnia and Herzegovina remain largely insufficient. The country's official refugee camps are full. Unfortunately, in spite of the EU's readiness to provide the necessary financial support, the government has not allocated new sites nor proposed suitable locations for the needed additional reception facilities. There is a strong need to ensure effective functioning of the existing temporary reception centres and we take note of the authorities' commitment in this respect. The Council defends the dignity and safety of all persons, especially the most vulnerable ones. These persons need to be protected. The Presidency would also like to express its appreciation for the work of all the humanitarian partners whose activities must be facilitated and supported. The EU expresses its readiness to continue providing additional support to the affected communities on the ground while searching at the same time for a more permanent solution. The overarching goal of our efforts is to support Bosnia and Herzegovina in managing mixed migration flows in light of the increasing number of asylum seekers, refugees and migrants arriving in the country in the past two years. When it comes to the current crisis in Bosnia and Herzegovina, we must work hard to ensure that the country's authorities at all levels of government work together and manage the migration situation in an effective manner. 
asylum seekers, refugees and migrants now living in deplorable and difficult conditions must be allocated adequate premises in line with the EU requirements. There is no time to wait. A swift coordination and reaction is what is expected from all of us. We need to consolidate our efforts to resolve the most pressing problems. A permanent solution needs to strengthen Bosnia and Herzegovina's capacity to identify and register third country nationals crossing the border. The final goal should also include the fight against trafficking in human beings, migrant smuggling and other types of cross-border crime, which is ever-present in mixed migration flows. Thank you, Mr. President, for the ability to speak. Thank you, Mrs. Tupurainen. I now invite uh, Mr. Avramopoulos to speak for the Commission. The floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, dear colleagues. Um, well, honorable members of the Parliament, let me start by welcoming today's debate about the situation of refugees and migrants in Bosnia Herzegovina. It could not have been a more timely moment. As you know, the European Commission is fully informed and closely following developments, including the extremely poor conditions at the Vuca site and in Bihać, which nobody should have to endure. What happens in uh, the region of the Western Balkans affects all of us, affects the rest of Europe too. This is why the European Union has always stood at the side of our Western Balkans partners as well as at the side of the refugees and the migrants in those countries. The debate is even more timely because the annual EU Western Balkans Home Affairs Ministerial takes place next week, which will give me an opportunity to discuss the issue with my counterparts. Allow me first to give you the general picture, the wider picture. Since 2018, around 50,000 people have crossed through Bosnia and Herzegovina on their way towards Western Europe. Around 8,000 people remain mostly in the northwest corner, the Unasana Canton, where the local authorities are bearing the brunt of migration management. The Commission responded immediately to the needs of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Since the year 2018, we have mobilized over 36 million euros to address the immediate needs of refugees and migrants and to strengthen the migration management capacities of Bosnia and Herzegovina. This includes the 2 million euros humanitarian assistance that we made available last month. Due to the very limited capacity of the official facilities, five temporary reception centres were set up with EU funds in 2018, providing accommodation for up to 4,000 people. 30% of which are families with children and 10% are unaccompanied minors. This prevented a humanitarian crisis last winter. Now, since accommodation capacities remain insufficient, we have repeatedly urged Bosnia and Herzegovina to identify suitable additional sites for temporary reception centers. Last August, we allocated 10 million euros to support the refurbishment and management of new centers. We have also mobilized a senior expert on migration management to assist the authorities in their internal coordination. Yet, despite the significant resources allocated and the intense political dialogue we are still waiting from the Bosnia and Herzegovina from their authorities to agree on the location of new reception centers and to increase the capacities 
of existing centres. Moreover, the forced disembarkation from trains and buses and the limiting of migrants' access to services has contributed to the deterioration of the humanitarian situation. We are therefore discussing with key partners how to help the authorities to best address the most urgent needs of migrants and refugees, especially the most vulnerable groups. At the same time, we have raised with the authorities the risk of a humanitarian crisis in the coming winter. And now, let me come back to the situation in Bihaj. We cannot accept the continuing transfers of migrants and uh, refugees to the entirely entire unsuitable location of Wuzets, where the health and lives of people are being put at serious risk by the lack of access to water, sanitation, shelter, and protection. Similar concerns have been expressed by the United Nations agencies. The site is a former landfill close to minefields. It does not fulfill the minimal requirements for decent reception conditions. Therefore, no EU financial support can or will be provided for it. I want to be very clear on that. We have asked the local authorities to dismantle the site without further delay and move the persons currently accommodated there to adequate facilities. We take note as a first positive step of the decision taken this week by the government of the Federation entity to approve the use of two military barracks as temporary reception centres in a place called Blazic near Sarajevo and Ljubace near Tuzla. We now expect such decision to be implemented swiftly in order to relieve the pressure on the Unasanas canton and the transfer of the persons currently in Butchers. Let me also add, let me also say that we remain concerned about alleged cases of violent pushbacks and mistreatment of migrants at the Croatian border with Bosnia and Herzegovina. We take such reports from civil society and international organizations very, very seriously. Any form of violence against refugees and migrants is unacceptable. We are in close contact with uh, the authorities of Croatia. We have committed to investigating allegations of mistreatment of migrants and refugees at its external borders and to keeping the Commission informed. In this context, upon request of the Commission, a monitoring mechanism has been established aimed at ensuring that the border control activities by the Croatian Border Guard officers remain fully compliant with, with EU law, international obligations, and with the respect of fundamental rights and the rights resulting from the EU asylum rules. I recently visited again Zagreb in the context of our evaluation of Croatia's readiness to join Schengen. Their commitment was again reiterated at this occasion. Honourable members, despite all the support that we have provided, the heavy pressure and the situation in Bosnia and Herzegovina remains deeply concerning, especially in light of the upcoming winter. We all want to avoid a worsening of the situation and a new humanitarian crisis. We are doing all we can to help Bosnia and Herzegovina to address the situation. The dignity and safety of all affected persons needs to be ensured and protected. 
We will continue engaging with the country's authorities as well as with civil society and international organizations on the ground on these very pressing issues. I know that this House shares the same concerns and I'm looking forward to hearing your views today. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much. We follow with statements by...